Hey guys, let's take a look at improper fractions or fractions that are not proper. Okay, if you hate fractions, you might be one of those people like, oh, I don't like fractions very much. I promise you, if you don't like fractions very much, by the end of this lesson today, you're going to go, wow, I used to not like them very much. And now I really, really hate them. I hope it doesn't happen. Anyway, let's talk about improper fractions. Improper fractions basically are when the numerator is larger than the denominator. And don't forget, every fraction is a division problem. So when you see 8 thirds, you can just think that's 8 divided by 3. Okay, how many times does 3 go into 8? We'll talk about that in a second. Okay, you might look at this and go, okay, 8 thirds. We can draw a pie, and you know, there's the thirds, right? And let's say there's several pies. They all have really big slices like my grandmother used to give me. Okay, well, there's a third, there's a third, and there's another third. There's three thirds, right? Three thirds is three thirds divided by three, which is one, one pi. There's four, four thirds, five thirds, six thirds, seven thirds, and eight thirds. So you can see that this is eight thirds, right? Eight divided by three. That means there are two pies whole, right? And then there are two thirds of another pi. Now, how do they get this? How do you get 8 thirds converts is the same thing as 2 and 2 thirds pies? It's just a division problem, that's all. 3 goes into 8 2 times. What's left over? 2, and you just write the 3 on the bottom. Like this original fraction has 3 in the bottom as a numerator. This will also have the same thing. So that's it. That's how you can convert to a mixed number. So let's convert these to mixed numbers. If you want to say 14 divided by 5, go ahead. Same thing as saying 14 fifths, but it is the same thing, right? 8 divided by 3 is the same thing as 2 and 2 thirds, right? 14 divided by 5 is the same thing as 14 fifths, okay? If you, in other words, if you divided a pie into five pieces, that's a fifth, right? So you would eat five of those fifths. You would eat five more of those fifths, right? That's, that's 10 fifths. Then you'd go 11, 12, 13, 14 fifths. So you'd eat two whole pies then you would eat four more out of those fifths, uh, that third pie. So the answer would be two and four fifths. So in other words, you're just doing the division problem. 14 divided by five is two. That gives you 10 fifths, right? There's four left over when you subtract, so it's two and four fifths. That's all there is to it, okay? 21 divided by eight, or 21 eighths. Eight goes into 21 two times. There is five left over, so you will have eaten two and five eighths pizzas or whatever you want to eat. Gluten-free. Okay. Okay. 30 divided by 4 or 30 fourths. Can you visualize a fourth of a pie? Okay. If you ate 30 of those, how many pies would you actually eat? Well, just do the division. 30 divided by 4 is 7, right? And there's two fourths left over. Of course, we don't want to leave this like this. Two parts out of 4 is the same thing as one half. So that's seven and one half pies. So again, the meaning of this, make sure you know the meaning of this. Don't just go through life without knowing what fractions mean. That's 30, you know, pies divided among four people. How much does each, per, each person get? You get seven and a half pies. Okay, 30 fourths means 30 of these things, right? How much would you eat if you ate 30 of those things? That's it. There you go. Okay. All right. Well, let's look at this. Convert these to improper fractions. We're just going to work backwards now. Okay. So three and one half pies. If you want to visualize this, that's three and one half pies. So you need some kind of, a, you know, how, in other words, how many parts of a pie are you going to be eating? Three whole pizzas, then another half of one. Well, how many halves is that? Okay. Well, this one how many halves? How many halves? Well, let's say three and a half, and then there's one. There you go. There's the ha other half. So how many halves are here? One, two. How many halves are here? One, two. How many halves are here? One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That will be seven halves. Okay. The easy way to do this is just take this number on the bottom of the numerator, multiply it by this, which is six, and add that number, and then put that over the same denominator. So I have seven halves. Same thing here. 7 and 5 eighths would be 8 times 7, which is 56, plus 5, which is 61. In other words, if you had 7 pizzas and then 5 eighths of another pizza, 
that's the same thing as, you know, there were 61 pizzas divided among eight people. How much would each get? Or you could look at it this way. If you had a pizza like divided like this into eighths, I mean, there's your eighth, right? Okay. Well, if you had 61 of those things, like we say there are, you would have, you know, if you had one of them, it'd be that one. But if you had eight of them total, that's a pizza. Another eight, another eight, another eight, you know, boom, boom, boom. All of a sudden, you'd have seven pizzas, that'd be 56, okay? And if you did five more, 56 plus five, 61, just like we have right there, okay? Five and two-thirds, well, same old thing, right? I mean, three times five is 15 plus two is 17, that's 17 thirds, there you go, okay? All right. Let's convert these to decimals. Oh, man. Well, don't forget, anytime you see a fraction, what operation does it mean? What does that 1 over 8 mean to do? It's 1 divided by 8, right? 1 divided by 8. So just keep your 3 over to the side. If you want to write this to a decimal, just write 3 point something and hang on to it, all right? Well, let's divide. 8 into 1. Here, let's just go a bunch of zeros here, okay? 8 into 10, 1 time. 2 left over. Stick the 2 right there. 8 into 20, twice. What's left over? 16 from 20 is 4. 8 into 40, 5. Perfect. There you go. So it's going to be 3.125. That's it, the decimals. Every fraction is a division problem. Don't forget that. Okay. Okay, 5 and 3 quarters. Well, you know, you probably know what 3 quarters is as a decimal, but let's just say you, you forgot. Just hold on to that and divide 4 into 3. And we can just slap a couple of zeros in there. 4 into 30 goes 7 times. There's 2 left over. Put the 2 there. 4 into 20 is 5. So there we go. 5.75. Oop. That's all there is to it. Okay. All right. Let's do another one. This is a mixed number one. Now this you're going to have to read and simply write the fraction. And that's all. All right. You have to be able to read this. In, an, in a way other than, oh, 3.1. We all know it's 3.1. But how do you read that? That's 3 and what fraction? 1 tenth, right? So 3 and 1 tenth is 3 and 1 tenth. That's it. Okay? This is read 12 and 937 jillionths. No, I'm just kidding. Thousandths. Okay. 937 thousandths. There you go. That's all you do for those. Okay. All right. Go to page 95. Let's take a look and uh, do those and uh, come back when you're ready. Okay. Five and two thirds as an improper fraction. Five times three is 15 plus two is 17. Excuse me. 17 thirds. Okay. B. Six and seven eighths. Well, there's our six and seven eighths. Eight times six is 48, plus seven is 55, so 55 eighths. C, 14 thirds, a mixed number. Again, don't forget, this is a division problem. Division problem. 14 pizzas divided among three people. Three into 14 is four, and then there's two thirds. So each person gets four and two thirds pizzas, okay? D, 23 fifths, or 23 divided by 5, would be 4, and then 3 fifths left over. Okay? Write 157 and 1 sixth as a decimal number rounded to two decimal places. Okay, piece of cake. All right? So we already know it's going to be this, 157 point something. All you got to do is just go, okay, I'm going to just, you know, do a couple of zeros there. We want it rounded to two decimal places? Okay, fine. So here we go. One, that's going to be 1 into 6, go, uh, excuse me, 6 into 10 goes 1 time, and there's going to be 4 left over. So 6 into 40 goes 6 times, and then there's 4 left over, and 6 and so on. Okay, so this is going to be 2 decimals, so we round this up to 0 0.17, so 157.17. There we go. Okay. Try F, and that's the last one. 5.09 5 is a mixed number. Okay. And make sure you did this. You can read this off. That is the same thing. 5.09 is the same thing as saying 5 and 9 hundredths, right? So that's how you'll write it, 5 and 9 hundredths. Don't write 5 and 9 tenths because that's, that's not the same thing. It would be 5.9. Okay. All right. Good luck today. Do your best. See you next time. Take care.